Yo, what's up guys? So in this video, we decided to go back three years ago before crypto came into my life. I wanted to show you guys a little part of who I am. Um, it's just really great to look back and see how far you can come in a very short period of time. Um, do mind the way I look. I look slightly like Hulk Hogan. And that's because we just came out of a Chosen Ones video as I did it. So maybe serious at times, but I do look like an idiot. And I suppose that's great. Remember to smash a like, smash the subscribe button, and always comment below. Enjoy the video. It is going to be an emotional ride for me being back here, but let me go show you where I'm from. Let me go show you what I've been through, where I've been brought up, where this all started, um, to where we are now. I'm excited, let's do it. So it has been around two years since I've actually seen my dad's car, uh, and hopefully we're going to be able to drive it today. But it is nice to come back to the home, the home city again. I am quite nervous. It's been a while since I've uh, put myself back into this. I think it's quite emotional for me. This was the last car that he drove. Um, it was the last place before he did what he did that he was actually in. So it was actually crazy to jump in the car and still smell him and to these things it, it brings back a lot. But it's been sitting here now. I haven't been here. Uh, I'll never sell the car. It will forever be here. I don't know if it will start. all the cobwebs and spiderwebs. Still smells like him bro. I haven't been here. What goes through my head is like, what was he thinking? And in that last, those last few hours, when he was driving back to his house, what was he thinking? He must have been so hurt. He must have been in a really... It's hard for me to understand where he was on that last drive home. Because his car was still on when we found him. His ignition and that was still on. So he literally got out of the car and he... And he got into his little room and he did what he did and I can just feel in the car like the amount of emotion or how he was feeling at that point it's really hard for me to understand it must have been a lot of pain that's all that I can to do something like that and to be able to to pull yourself up to do that to yourself I think there must have been a lot of pain to not think about your family at that time, to not think about anything but just turning the lights off. Um, it's hard for me to grasp, but uh, at least this still gives me a little bit of him. And it gives me a little bit of, uh, of remembrance of where we're from and what, what we've been through and why we continue to fight every day. I love this man. He's a big reason why I am who I am today. He means it all to me. I love you, Dad. I fucking love you. I appreciate everything. I don't think it will stop. Yeah, it's absolutely dead. I'll never sell the car. I used to stay in this house over here. The only difference is this place had nothing in it. So it had no kitchen, it had no plumbing, it had nothing. So I, th this whole area by myself, I dug this whole area up and I put in all of this. You see where it's all been, we broke the hole through the wall here. All this plumbing I did myself so that I could live here. And all of that, I built the kitchen by myself. Um, but we used like all the scrap old wood and stuff like that. Um, but for me it was cool, like I had basic stuff and my mom got really good at spoiling us but she did it all, you know, create debt to get us and she bought me my first laptop 
and she bought me an Xbox and she bought me a TV. So I had a few things and I thought I'm like, okay, cool. I don't have a job and stuff, but the stuff's cool. And it was about six days later, they broke in. So they cut a hole in this fence over here uh, and they broke into the place and they stole everything. Um, they only left me with my couches and my bed. And that was really hard for us. We never had uh, anything like that. It was all taken on debt and stuff. And it was about three weeks after that they broke in again and they wiped me out again. And they actually ended up wiping me out three times. And that's what eventually forced me to move out of here because the last time they literally stole my fridge, they stole my washing machine, they stole everything. So uh, I was absolutely left with zero. Like, it's really hard because you bust your ass off, you're fighting the big guys and you just earn pennies. Like you earn so little and then for people to just come steal it, like it's really not cool. Like it's everything we got and they just come and they steal and they steal and they steal. I suppose they got to survive too, but it's just like, and the way they do it, they break your gates and they break your windows and they break stuff. And uh, the hardest part that I struggled about when they broke in here, it's like these guys were in my room, bro. Yeah, that feeling is horrible. And these guys were they over my bed and they took all my stuff like they're in my house, bro. That was our, 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 our life for a while. That was where I was really, really, probably the brokest I've ever been in my life um, throughout those times. Nice to be back here, bro. Be back at all, all, all it happened. But, uh, but now let me go show you the, the, the next part, the next chapter, the cool chapter. Alrighty. We're on the road, bro. So we don't worry a lot about the security. And they also just don't look after these places. Like we don't have roads. Like everything is very um, not looked after. There's a lot of holes. Like if we look at this piece over here, it's just ridiculous that you've got to drive on every day. As you can see it's literally just sand roads and they never fix them. It's been like this for the last five years. And I did manage to buy my, my BMW, the car that I love now. The first ever car I could buy, but I had to drive it on these roads. That's so bad. Now we're gonna get what was probably my favorite lunch. I used to eat this every day. It's 40 Rand. What's 40 Rand? Three dollars? Two dollars? And it's called a Buravos roll. It's like minced meat that's, I don't even know what you even call it, I'll show you. But it's cheap and it's good. And look here, so guys are eating bro. Lunch time. Three Buravos rolls, please. I wouldn't say this is something I would do often. Alrighty, now it's time for the next chapter. So basically after I moved from the previous house where we were getting robbed, I then came through here. End of the day, like we had to hustle and do my things at times. And I would grow some weed at times and sell because that's how I would make some, some extra cash or any, any sort of money. So we built this little shed up because it is legal in South Africa. I can't believe it, I'm back here. <laughs> this is where like I literally, we put all the stuff on. You can see my old little system still in here. So I used to have all the plants on the side here and then I built a hydroponic system. This was there. Where I would have the water run through here. I had a fish tank at the back, I had all the fish in there. So we would literally just like go to scrap yards and go to places where we can just find anything. That's why you can see everything is all different materials and that. So I lived in this little house over here. So before I show you the factory, I'll show you the house. So this was the little place. It's actually gotten cleaned up quite nicely. Um, but this was the, the house that I stayed in. It was, it, was, it was great for me. For me, it's like, holy shit, like, because that other place I was in had nothing. Uh, I didn't have a lot of, uh, in a nice kitchen or anything. So this place was like, decent for me. Um, it was nice. This thing was not cool though. The flame would always get blown out while I'm having a shower and then no more hot water. And that happened a lot. And I remember that time I couldn't afford um, two gas 
everything because everything was gas. I couldn't afford them, so I would have one bottle to do the stove and for the thing. So when I wanted to cook, I had to come outside, take the thing off, carry it that side, put it in that side, then we would cook. Then after that, we want to go to the shower, I had to take it out and come to it. And I remember that got quite, quite crazy. But this is the, the factory me and Nace built together. So we built this all by hand. Um, and this is where we'll do all of our daily work. It's crazy back. So this is where we used to keep all of our wood. This is where we would do all of our major cuts. We had the whole bunch of different sanders and all the hand tools. I did a lot of kitchens as well. So you got all of the handles and edging and all of that stuff. The drawer press. This was meant to be our little kitchen. But it's crazy, we did all of this and we never got to finish it. So obviously, that's in that time. We, we still got some of the things we wanted to close. But this was the dream, eh? Right? This was something we were... We were working on our whole lives. We did it, bro. We still built this all by hand. But this was the daily life. So I'd literally come out of my house every day and we would start. And it involves a lot of sanding, a lot of mess, hard to breathe, like I said. <laughs> that was the house where I first discovered crypto. And I got into the scam and everything was there. And then when that all went well, I even told them that I said, screw this, like I'm selling whatever the machines I got here. I sold the car, I sold all of that. So I'm like, we're getting into this coin. This thing's gonna change our lives going up in life and then that's when it collapsed and I got a couple hundred dollars left I have to I've sold everything so I have to make it work so guys this is where I'm from two years ago I was in this place over here I did get scammed I did lose everything I was left with two three hundred dollars and in two and a half years I now live in Cape Town and everything completely reversed it's another message to not give up to not stop this was a dream for me man and when we built this I remember the pride on our face just by building a workshop uh, and it just shows how quickly these things can actually just turn and and evolve so don't quit never quit keep working hard uh, i promise you it's worth it i am so proud that this is where the chapter was previously from where i am now and i hope it inspires you don't give up never quit